What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in this video I'll be showing you how you can move Xbox Game Pass apps from one drive to another. This also applies to normal games and programs you installed from the Windows Store, but this video is mainly going to be focusing on the Xbox Game Pass as that's what most users are going to be using when they're trying to move large games from one drive to another. Say you've got a really small SSD and you chose to install programs there by default, but if you open up the Xbox Game Pass app, you'll see all of your games on the left hand side and they're just taking up a whole bunch of space. Right clicking on the games, you don't have any options other than to uninstall the game or create a desktop shortcut. Viewing the details doesn't give you anything here either, which is incredibly annoying. The only thing we really can do is launch the game, which is not what I want to do here. So, how exactly do we move it off of one drive to another one? For me, luckily I install these on a drive that's rather big. This one over here, eDrive. As you can see, I've got the Windows apps, Windows packages, WP system and WU download cache. As far as I know, all of these folders over here, including program files and program files 86 were all added by installing Windows apps through the Xbox app. And of course, opening up Windows apps, we have all of the games over here. How exactly do we move these very large files from one drive to another? All of these games over here are taking up a massive 780 gigabytes. So let's get to moving to a different drive. I'll be moving to say G drive just as a test. So what do we need to do? Well, first of all, make sure that the game you want to move is fully up to date and ready to play or open. Then hit start and type an app. Then we'll be opening up add or remove programs. And inside of here, we'll simply locate it on the programs list down here under apps and features. So you can either search for it or type it in yourself. I'll be moving, say, Overcooked 2 over here to a different drive. So this is the folder that we're going to look at and we'll see the size change when it's successfully moved. 7.2 gigs. So let's go ahead and search for the game. Overcooked. We'll select it and then underneath you'll see a move option. Simply click the move option and then choose another drive from this drop down over here. Again, I'll be choosing G drive. Then we'll simply click move and we'll wait for the file transfer to complete. Of course, if you're curious with how fast it's moving, you can open up your task manager with Control shift escape and then head across to the performance tab and look at the two drives that you have. I, of course, am moving from this drive over here, hence the read speed, to this drive over here, hence the write speed. So we'll simply wait for this to complete and we'll see if these files have been successfully moved, which I would assume they have been. Of course, the bigger your game, the slower your disks, the longer this is going to take and vice versa. And there we go. We're not able to tell that it's moved to another drive other than it vanishing over there and our hard disks going inactive. Checking move once again, we can see this app is currently installed on G drive and we have the option to move it again. G is removed from the list. Cool. So let's have a look inside of that same folder. Windows apps. As you can see, Overcooked is no longer here on my E drive. But if I head back to G drive, you'll notice a bunch of new folders. WP system, Windows apps and program files over here. Inside of the Windows Apps folder, if I quickly take ownership, inside of it, you'll see all of these files over here, including Overcooked to Windows 10. This is the file that we just moved from our other disk. If I simply go into Properties, you'll see it's the same exact file size. Now that we've moved the game across from disk to disk, there hasn't been a single download. Let's go ahead and launch it up to see if it works properly. It should be over here. There it is. Play. And immediately, we're dropped into the game with absolutely no issues. And quickly heading into the continue section under story, we'll see that all of my save game progress is still here. I'm on level 2.5, a new level has been unlocked, and progress has been made. Cool. So anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful enough. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.